Hi and welcome to Chef DJ's Kitchen. Hey, today I'm going to be doing an ostrich egg quiche arfitada. Um, I did get my hands on this beauty. Uh, it is an ostrich egg. It is very hard shell. Uh, this is actually my first time doing this type of meal with an ostrich egg. The shell is extremely hard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bread knife and I'm gonna slice and kind of saw around to get enough to where hopefully I can save this. Uh, the ingredients we're gonna be using, I have a mixed blend of pizza cheese. I have my, uh, here. I do have a blend of red, yellow, and orange pepper sauteed. I have some sauteed onions. I did use a little bit of nutmeg, fresh nutmeg with that. I have my spinach. And I'm not gonna do this in, and I call it frittata instead of a quiche. Quiche, it's a crustless quiche, but my crust is gonna be Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage coated on the bottom. Once I get this thing open, blend it, I'm going to ladle it on top here so it doesn't disperse uh, my crust at the bottom. I do have a mixture of heavy cream and whole milk, and that's gonna be our mixture with our egg. So without further ado, let's get this thing open. Let's see what it do. And hopefully I can save this puppy. Now it's gonna probably put out a little bit of a dust. Yep, because the shell is hard. I'm just gonna saw around, try to get a complete circle on it. Just to get a starter line on it. A starter line because I don't want to completely rip this apart because this is a very unique eggshell and that you have to go through this process to get it open so hopefully I can do this without totally destroying the egg. I've seen some videos, I've seen one or two, I actually I saw one video that they did this with a a sunny side up egg that they utilize. It is a lot of egg as you will see if you look up google google says one ostrich egg is actually equating to 24 eggs that's two dozen yes two dozen whole eggs so as i know as i start spiraling this thing it's gonna change up a little bit in the direction that's how our left-handed people we end up with stuff <laughs> we start one direction and it ends up going into another. That's how we do And Sometimes we can't write on a chalkboard without this thing going slanted left or right. So we're gonna try to keep an edge. Like I said, this is my first time trying to crack one of these. So this is gonna be really interesting to see if I can do this without completely severing the egg shell because I do want to try to keep this it is a thick shell so this is going to be the wonder of this <laughs> I'll try to do it as gently as possible because I've never done this before so I really don't know how thick of a layer it's going to be once it's open so bear with me because this is just a sight for me alone. I can only imagine what you guys are thinking. Like, wow, this is big, right? It's big. So I'm gonna try to do this the best that I can without totally destroying the shell. So what I'm trying to do is to kind of get a perforated edge that I can break. That is my oven preheated, it's completed. I do have a convection oven here and it is set for 295 degrees convection, okay? That's what we're doing here. So bear with me as I try to get this thing cracking. It is something to be. <laughs> I got a little spiral going on in here. But that's okay. So, 
I'm gonna move some of this out of the way here. It's got some small fine dust here from the eggshell. And the, the egg, the, some people are gonna try, have tried to do this another way and found out it didn't work and it actually broke the entire eggshell and I don't wanna do that. So this is a feat all by itself. <laughs> it is it is a tough mamma jamma, I tell you that. It is tough. It is thick. But I'm trying to get it to where we can get all of the yolk out of it. In one section. It's like sawing a tree, yes. I'm only applying some light pressure. Again, I don't want to break too far into it when I'm sawing. It does have a strange smell to it <laughs> from the friction here. So, as you can see, they used to engrave these eggs because of the density of this thing. You can actually take it and make some engravings into it. As you can see, it is a wonder. Uh-oh, there we go. I think we're getting somewhere there. I heard that thinning out a little bit. There we go. up some of this as we go so we're making a little bit of room here making some headway if you've never seen this done neither have I <laughs> oh my god this is amazing just to be sitting here trying to crack open an ostrich egg with a bread knife, trying to cut it to where I don't have a big, huge mess. Almost able to just tap and separate. That's what I want, tap and separate. I think I'm, I'm getting somewhere now, so. Yes, I'm making headway. All right, my first time 